some members of our scientific advisory board, SVP of product marketing, Audrey Summerfield. Top 1% of doctors, Dr. Michael Seidman. And one of our formulators, Dr. Witherly. Guys, give them a lot of love. You guys, everything is now gonna be provided to you in an all fact sheet at shake.buy.com. So you'll never have to worry about understanding all of this. I do want to take the time to cover some of the probably most frequent questions we get. Um, starts with super smart people, but then I know it goes, comes down to the ingredients, right? So some of the finest ingredients, and I know the process that you guys go through to select. So maybe um, let's start with uh, probably the most important ingredient within the shake, which is kind of the secret sauce, the way I, I look at it, which is talk to us about the trizorb protein. All right, well, one of the things that we did is we're really forward thinking. We were really studying science and put together something that we now know was so innovative because there's so many clinicals coming out showing that a combination of proteins are better for your body. And I know it's because they digest slowly, they digest long, uh, they support muscle health, but Dr. Witherly and I were talking about the amino acid and why it helps you build muscle. Can you talk about our trizor protein? Seven years ago, we had a theoretical framework on how to make the best shake, but it was still theoretical based in great science. Now, seven years later, the papers have come out showing it's perfect. Each one of these proteins breaks down in the bloodstream at a separate rate. So that means amino acids are being continuously fed to your muscles. So the muscles don't need to take in sugar, they can take in amino acids. So it's a diet shake, it's a muscle building shake, and it's continuous for six hours. And it makes you feel full much longer than any of the competition. There's three different types of protein in it which absorb at different rates. And by absorbing at different rates, that keeps you full longer so you don't get that hunger sensation. Most importantly is that the soy protein is a vegetarian-based protein. And then, of course, we have the two types of whey. And then together, they're designed to build lean muscle. Soy has long gotten a very bad rap, or should say in the last few years, and soy is a critical protein, and soy is a very large constituent part of the diet, if you will, of the Asian diet, and they have less cancer, they have less heart disease, and we think that soy is an integral part of that. A lot of people who use soy put genetically modified soy. We use non-GMO, which means not genetically modified. One other concern about the soy that people, it's, a, it's an amazing protein, it's very well absorbed. People have had issues and say, okay, if I, I'm a man and I'm using the soy, aren't I going to get man boobs? And the answer is, no, you're not. Um, the, 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 there are phytoestrogens inside soy, like dadzine and genistein are the two primary phytoestrogens that are in soy that kind of get the bad rap. And if you're a woman who, God forbid, had a breast or an ovarian cancer, they say, don't have soy. The answer is actually you can have soy. And I've worked with Dr. Messina, who's probably the world authority on soy. They've recently done a study of 9,000 people in Asia that have had breast cancer who went back on soy, and it actually reduced the risk of cancer or a second cancer. In terms of uh, other benefits, Audrey, I know you wanted to talk about in terms of the soy specifically in our shake. Yeah, soy is an amazing um, a protein because it's easily digested, which is why it's great for kids and adults alike. You'll find soy protein in things like baby food because it's so easily digested. And as we age, it's harder for us to digest it. But there are studies that show soy improves muscle performance. Soy builds lean muscle equal to, if not greater than, whey protein. Studies show make you smarter, which is why I think we have so many great promoters in our, our company. And soy decreases your risk of certain diseases. Adequate consumption of soy in your diet helps your body lower C-reactive protein, an indicator of inflammation and heart disease. One of the things that I was most impressed with is these guys formulated the idea of Trizorb years and years and years ago based on science. And yeah, I hope you guys heard what they just said because I think if I'm reiterating, more and more modern research keeps coming out that now is saying that neither soy, soy as, a, as a standalone or whey as a standalone is the best, but actually the way they work synergistically is having greater benefits than anything else out there, which is something, guys, that we developed in our proprietary Trizorb formula years and years and years ago. These guys are like a decade ahead of their time. Round of applause for coming up with that. As a personal trainer, we've never seen a shake like this before. Uh, this shake, you're able to lose fat but keep your lean muscle, which is just crazy. Anybody can lose weight, um, but to have somebody gain lean muscle but be shredded at the exact same time, it's just absolutely incredible. Maybe touch on a couple key bullet points of the different types of whey. Yeah, now we use two different types of whey. We use a whey concentrate that curbs hunger quickly. And then we have a whey hydrolysate, which is a brand new technology. It's super expensive, which is why other companies don't use it. 
And it's been shown to be the most absorbable, high quality protein on the market today. And we use that to help you build that lean muscle really fast. It's also full of amino acids. Anything you want to add about whey? Yes, with the results that I found using our shake, I tried to figure out there must be more science behind it. The whey hydrolysate that we use has growth factors and immunoglobulins in there. It's just not whey protein. It's a complete health whey hydrolysate that I did realize five years ago, but now the research is in. And it's almost like with your guidance, we saw the future. <laughs> yes. And we're still ahead of everybody else. They removed the GMOs in the soy, they removed the isoflavones through a water filtration process, and that way you get the heart healthy benefits of the soy, the anti-inflammatory benefits of the soy, and also it helps the amino acids be delivered at a constant stream. And you also get the two different types of whey, which are great for, for muscle building and also for the fat loss, so it's a perfect combination of proteins. I know, Dr. Simon, you said that our soy is uh, isoflavin free and, and non-GMO. This one's funny to me, because we get this a lot in the field. I know a lot of you guys promoters have gotten these questions. And uh, I'll let you guys to back me up, because you understand this a lot better than I do. But the irony is, isoflavones occur naturally in food, okay? We've removed them from our shake, mainly because of misconception around them. But the irony, and, and back me up on this, the irony is most current modern research is actually saying there's positive benefits to having them. So maybe if you guys can clear up kind of what it is. Yeah. We remove them, right, because we, we, there's a lot of misinterpretation, but maybe what people are now finding. I'll, I'll take a quick stab. So, so there, the, the things that are important in fruits and vegetables are basically uh, uh, they're called phyto, they're, they're, they're different types of phyto products that are in these and there's more than 150,000 different types of those compounds and the two in soy happen to be dadzine and genicine that are very powerful but we have removed them for reasons of perhaps misconception in the past but we still have maintained the integrity of the core protein. I don't, go, go ahead. Did you? Uh, so I was just building on what you said, are like antioxidants found in food. There are probably more isoflavones in your taco if you eat it out there today for lunch than there are in our shake. Um, there's more uh, isoflavones in your coffee and in pistachios. But they're actually, when we formulated the shake seven years ago, it was not well understood. There is recent research out that's showing it's good, and if you Google the American Cancer Society 2012, they've come out in support of isoflavone. So, you know, we removed it because of the controversy, because of the concern, but more and more studies are showing that it's actually beneficial. The other thing that I'll add is that the phytonutrients that we're talking about um, are not only in the BiPAC and the antioxidant because they're in there, but they're in a lot of the different flavors that we add on to the shake. So, you know, Steve can talk about an hour about this. We'll talk more about it tonight, but yeah. the peach and the strawberry and the orange have a whole bunch of phytonutrients that really provide uh, essential, um, basically essential nutrients that we need for our body to support itself and heal itself. You need that platform of nutrients and we provide it in many different ways for you. The shakes are great because they are loaded in nutrition, they're loaded in vitamins, and they work so fast. I've felt really comfortable recommending the Visalis products to all my patients. I've seen everything from weight loss to performance enhancements, um, supporting women who are pregnant nursing with, with really good nutrition when it's hard for them to eat. Here's another question that we get a lot, right? And I know there's no perfect answer to this, but when it comes to the sweeteners used in the shake, right, and the whole sugar controversy that's going on out there, maybe talk a little bit about why sucralose, why the sweetener we use in our shake. We use sucralose to keep our shake diabetic friendly. We know that diabetes and obesity are linked. There's a lot of studies that show that. There are other sweeteners that people say are low glycemic. Really, they spike hunger, or really, they cause diarrhea, or really, they have other health issues. We don't use sugar because the average person in America is eating too much sugar. Sugar is deadly science. How many pounds of sugar? 150? 56 pounds of sugar a year. The average teenager is eating four pounds of sugar a week. And if you talk to any doctor who studies cancer, they tell you to go off of sugar because cancer feeds on sugar. We know that uh, sugar adds to uh, diabetes, to heart pr blood pressure, to all kinds of issues. So we don't use sugar for that. Other competitors use sugar. Other competitors use these things that spike hunger. Other competitors use these sweeteners that can actually cause all sorts of GI issues. So we use the one that is the most studied globally, that has the most science globally, that is approved by over 80 countries, used for over 25 years, and has been proved 
proven safe and extreme upper levels. It is the most studied sweetener on the planet. It's amazing and it's safe for diabetics. It's safe, hot and cold. Not only have I been a nurse, but for a long time I competed in fitness and I have tried every shake on the market. Some of them have a lot of protein, some of them might taste okay, but most of the time they're really, really hard on my stomach. So I've had a hard time tolerating most other shakes. This shake is highly to tolerable to many, many people. Um, they actually help the GI system. Let's keep talking about ingredients. Let's talk about, I know fiber is a key part of the shake. Audrey, maybe you can speak to some of the, uh, the fiber we put in there. I'll talk about the fiber. We have a very unique fiber called Fibersol 2. It's a resistant maltodextrin. Not only does it help decrease body fat, but it has other effects on satiety, and it actually blocks body fat. There was a study just shown recently in Japan. So there's 33 clinical studies on this fiber, and that with the tricer combination is an almost unbelievable formulation. I know fiber is really key, and I think the digestive enzymes I know is a key part of what gets the results. Yep. We have a patented digestive enzyme called Aminogen in our shake. You find enzymes in things like papaya and pineapple. And what it does is it helps your body take that protein and absorb it even more efficiently. So you're getting a greater benefit with less protein. And that's where I know our bodybuilders out there are always like, oh, you need more. Well, actually, you don't. You need more quality protein that can go into your lean muscle. And our added Aminogen helps with that as well. And I just, I want to add in that uh, it's also chock full of things like probiotics and prebiotics. And I don't know if you know this, but if you take a single dose of an antibiotic, one dose of amoxicillin, one dose of a Z-Pak, you wipe out your entire intestinal flora. Half of the vitamin K we produce is produced in our, in, in our intestines. One dose of an antibiotic wipes that out. You need prebiotics, you need probiotics, and we provide all of that. We provide that in the nutrients, in the shakes, and everything that we have for you. So very important and for a healthful diet. That is, and our fiber is a prebiotic fiber, which are studies that show that it helps people prebiotics with Crohn's disease. So I know I was talking to a few of you out in the audience about how your great results are because of the prebiotics. So we're very health thankful for that as well. And I know your guys' strategy and formulation is to take kind of a holistic approach, right? Um, instead of targeting one part of the body, I, I know you target all kind of systems. Maybe you can <clears throat> speak to that, Dr. Wither. Yes, uh, this is unique to Visalis. Uh, the founders let us do this. If you're gonna fight obesity, there's nine systems in the body that you have to attack. People just think it's hunger, just people think it's appetite, other stuff. There are nine body systems that are going against you. They're trying to fight you every step of the way. So when we design our formulas, we take a very scientific approach. No other company knows this. No other company's probably smart enough to know this. So we look at each of the systems and what product attacks which. I would recommend the Vice Shake over other shakes to my patients. It is brilliant, it's the best shake out there. The Trisor Protein, it's low fat, low sodium, 90 calories, gluten free, kosher. I think we hit it on, on all areas for every single being on the planet. I want to talk a little bit about the quality. Guys, this is important. I know this is never, never something that's going to come out in a challenge party. This isn't something you're going to go out there and you know, pitch to get a customer. That, that's not that level of conversation. But it's important that you guys know the level of detail that goes into the selection process all the way through till that shake gets delivered on your customer's doorstep. And it's important for you guys to know what goes on behind the scenes in service and support of you and the results guys that we're champion. Audrey, can you talk a little bit about kind of the quality testing? Yeah, our, we, <laughs> there are so many things we do behind the scenes that you don't need to know about, but if you've seen me on Facebook with a net on my hair in the manufacturing plant, it's the quality. And what we do is every ingredient, first we select it and we make sure it's from a certain supplier, a certain potency. Then we go to the manufacturing plant, we test it to ensure it's our potency and our purity. Then we test during the manufacturing process to ensure consistency. We test at the end of the manufacturing process to ensure we meet label claim. We send our product to an outside independent testing lab, often two or three of them, and test for all of the above. Plus we test for heavy metals and all the other things you don't want in your shake. And we test to make sure that what we say is in it and nothing more. And that's why we're in a CGMP certified facility that's FDA inspected. And oh, by the way, it is also kosher. And I don't know if you know what that means, but it meant 
a lot of work because the Orthodox Union had to approve every ingredient, every supplier, every source, every country that that ingredient came from. They had to approve our facility and they sent an independent rabbi every single production run to oversee it saying what we do is what we say we do. As a pharmaceutical rep, I was that girl in the very beginning. I had to know every ingredient that was in the bag. Um, spent a lot of time on the phone with product developers of the product, making sure that um, it was the best that was on the market. This company, Vicelles, is unique. I don't have restrictions on ingredients. They, the three founders, asked me to make the best you can, and we'll go with it. Herbalife, Amway, anybody else, they would laugh me out of the lab. There's no restrictions on quality from this company, ever. And guys, here's what I want you to understand. As a company, we don't have to. This industry is an unregulated industry, unfortunately. And you'll see a lot of the competition out there, they don't do this. But we want to make sure that what we say is in the bag is in every single bag because you don't know who that bag is going to go to, who's going to consume that, and what story that may create, who that may inspire. Every single bag and every single person, guys. That's what goes into the science. You guys, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time or ask you guys to chime in, but I want to show these images and at least get you guys the detail because I watch Audrey, the doctor, slave through this every single day, all the way down not only to where the product is manufactured, but down to the actual bag that it gets put in. You guys spend a lot of time carefully selecting the facilities. Maybe speak for a second on kind of the facilities that we use. We've actually got a whole what we call team of people who go out and qualify our manufacturers. We care about how many R&D scientists they have in their lab, how many quality people they have in their facility, how many people are on the plant floor watching the product being made. So we, we, met, we select our manufacturers very conservatively. And then we send out our team of people, including me frequently, to go watch how the product's being made so we make sure it's what we want it to be made. And then as Blake was saying, um, we also care about the packaging that goes into it. We test our packaging. We know every ink on the back of the bag. We know every inch of that thing. We test it for strength, we, for shipping, for handling, for everything. So there's so much that goes into it. Don't and then, taste, taste. And then as we go global, we have to provide all these tests to the governments to show that our product is compatible and that in hot degrees, cold degrees, it lasts. I mean, there's more that goes into it that I could talk about in this short period of time. And then it's labeled to the highest standards. We have not one, not two, but we have had three lawyer legal firms review our labels, review our literature, review everything, and including one of our attorneys who worked for the FDA. So we hold ourselves to a higher standard. I watch this every single day and I, you know, I, I give an example. I, I, I come up to Audrey a couple weeks ago and I go, Audrey, how come on our product literature, on our marketing, I'm allowed to say isoflavin free? But how come on the shake, where we have to say reduced isoflavin? And then I, Audrey gives me this mile long dissertation of, well, we adhere to the FDA and FTC regulation, and the FDA is actually the one that issues product packaging guidelines. The FDA says this is what they prefer. The FDA prefers us to say reduced on product packaging, but the FTC is the one that regulates the marketing materials, and the FTC would prefer that it says isoflavin free. And we want to make sure we make the FTC and the FDA happy, so it actually means both. That's the level of stuff that they go through, guys, when it comes to the label. Stuff that you'll never have to worry about, but know that they worry about, and know that Vysalis will not cut any corner and make sure we put every single I dotted T crossed to have the highest quality and integrity at the end of the day from the smart people selecting the right ingredients going through right the right manufacturing the right quality the right packaging right the right inspection all the way down to the right label all the way down to the right delivery to a doorstep at the end of the day we have the only trizor protein we have the full fiber lowest fat lowest sodium lowest sugar lowest carb lactose free gluten free heart healthy calcium friendly for those that are diabetic, certified kosher, 25 vitamins and minerals. We have the number one formula on the planet at the most affordable price that crushes every competition. And that's why we had 1.5 million people on the challenge last year. I would recommend the shake to everybody. Anybody from kids all the way up to elderly individuals who need nutrition. The thing that's so unique to everyone, it fits with every lifestyle. The health perspective that I see is phenomenal. Um, I've seen so many transformations. My favorite thing about the Vice Shake is how easy it is to use. It's just amazing. Anyone can use it anytime. It's the best fast food there is.
And guys, at the end of the day, like I said, that was just to take your belief meter from where it was to where it needs to be. You don't need to know the science, they know the science, but you do have to trust and believe that they know the science so we can go out there, keep it simple, have fun, serve some shakes, right? Get paid to party and go take weight off the world. One more time, guys, for our scientific advisory board.